at the core of this exhibition is the music. So, so it's, the, it's the expression of this community that has moved to Chicago and created uh, Chicago as their home base and really uh, brought this southern tradition, the southern musical tradition with them. Rayburn Fleurlage, this photographer, was there and documented it all. So we had this incredible backbone for this project, which was this amazing visual record of all these places and all these people. We really wanted people to have a sense of what amplified Chicago blues was really all about. So in the exhibition, anybody who comes here gets to play the blues. We have guitars out, and you get to play along with some uh, blues legends and uh, get a sense of what are the sort of core elements of a great blues song. You also get to um, experience uh, blues from sort of the producers or the uh, sound mixers perspective. So you can highlight the vocal, you can highlight the drum, you can pull the bass out, um, and you can really isolate the different aspects of the music to understand what's going on musically within the, uh, the full volume of the song when it's completed. Uh, we also, uh, sort of a, a fun thing, we created an opportunity for you to create an album cover uh, using some of Fleur Lodge's imagery. And then also we have uh, a pretty incredible opportunity for you to belt out the blues yourself if you're so inclined. All in all, it's a very interactive show. It's good for kids, it's good for families. It's a great combination of uh, wonderful content and great Chicago history, amazing collections, and uh, a lot of fun activity. Well, if you want to check out Amplified Chicago Blues for yourself, just head to the Chicago History Museum now through August 10th. And for more info on all the exhibits at the museum, head to chicagohistory.org.